Well, it's time now for us to enter the world of Majato, where we're going to be taking a look at the works of legendary artists like Raza, Soza and KG Subramanian. KG Subramanyam, in the art world really known as Mani Sir, passed away on June 29th. He hails from Kerala and had an important role in the Quit India movement in 1942. Around 1944 to 1945, he was encouraged to go to Shanti Niketan and learn art. It is at Shanti Niketan that he really developed a very strong character, which sort of was part of his work till the end. His works are very bold and there's a sense of rawness in his work. It is devoid of a lot of detail. It's the strength of a stroke and his imagery that is captivating. S.H. Raza passed away recently. He spent a lot of time in Paris. But towards the end of the 70s, his works were very landscape oriented and that's why he had a deep desire and need to bring something Indian into his work. Then his most popular work, the Bindu series, came about at this time. The work graduated towards the later part of the 1990s. The image started becoming blurry and he started utilizing his abstraction along with geometry and straight lines. What we have on offer in curation for both the celebrated artists KG Subramanian and SH Raza is really a celebration of their lives and their works. We have a very, very large collection of serigraphs, which are hand-printed work signed by the artist and numbered. It's a great opportunity for people to have a work of the legends, but at the price which is affordable because these are not original works, although they have been signed by the artists. A very large variety of post-KG Subramanian and Asit Raza serigraphs are what we're bringing in this curation. It could be the variety of styles he brought to the canvas or his rebellious streak that made him one of the founders of the Progressive Arts Group or the single painting titled Birth that sold at $4 million. Francis Newton Souza, a Goa-born Indian artist, had all these reasons and many more to make him one of the leading Indian artists of his time between 1924 and 2002. Having even a sketch of his today as part of your space means completing it with legendary presence. The Artoholics Gallery in Delhi has acquired a series of his works that are up on Mojato as well. In this collection that we are showing, works are ranging from 1940s to 1990s. So it's a collection of whole period of Sousa, 50 years of Sousa. 1940s when he started as a student. 50s and 60s, which is, was the best and the peak of Sousa's works, then going down to 70s, 80s, 90s. So we've tried to put every aspect of Sousa's work in these sketches. So if one wants to create a collection, he has all the five decades of his work. And you can see the work changing over the period. As he progresses from 40s into 50s, then 60s, how the work has progressed. His works are most often focused on figures, his self-portraits and the drawings that he did are classical distortion of the human figure and the human face itself. And that brings a very strong story and expression that Sosa chose to save with his work. These are also works that have a clear record of ownership, authenticity, in other words, come with provenance. Every work we are displaying is published. It has been published by a very well-recognized gallery who have worked with Sousa first hand or it has been acquired from an auction. That is a renowned international auction, either Christie's, Sotheby's, from New York or in London. So you can trace these works, they are all online and they are in catalogues in the past. 